Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim World 3 first look video. This one is for the Dispolock uh, 182, also known as the ES64U2, which you can see over there with the writing stuff on it. But yeah, this is Dispolock, uh, which I believe doesn't actually exist anymore. I think it now. I think they combined two companies together, uh, and that then makes now MRCE, uh, which is the black livery on the 182, which we've seen on Hamburg Lübeck, uh, and also on Reimer Austin for the 185. But yeah, uh, here we are, here it is in it, all its glory. Uh, we do need to set it up and then we'll make our way off towards Bergsin. Uh, it said it was about 27 minutes, this service, uh, but we'll see about that. Right, uh, let's get it set up. Um, wow, it's been a while since I have been in this, I believe. Yeah, you can go in the corridor uh, into the back. Uh, see, there's three variants of this train in the game. There is the... Um, Let's make sure I think it's all good. Yeah, there's the um, the Rapid Transit Deutsche Bahn 182. Um, and you've got the Hamburg Lübeck one. And now this one. Uh, set that to that, and then we get that on. Hey, and you've got a very nice, chilled out woman who says AFB and CIFA. Which I find less annoying. Uh get them on a little bit. Right, uh, train lights, even though I don't think we actually needed to do that. Um, exterior light, master switch, reading lights, don't need them. Right, let's come up to here and put on these bits. So we're going to set the signal lights to headlights, this vehicle only. PZB, of course it's going to go to on. Uh, parking brake release, just in case it hasn't. And then I think we are near enough ready to go. Uh, we're in PZB mode M, I'm happy with that. Um, so yeah, I think that is about it. Let's get the speedo on as well, that's what we're missing. Set that to forward. Set that to 40 to begin with. Uh, the brakes can come off. See, so yeah, I don't know if there are any, uh, this might be a little bit, was this here before? Yeah, possibly. And we should then be able to get going. If I remember that's how you set it up, then hopefully we'll get going. It is, yes. <laughs> Good. Yeah, there it is, the spot of the banana train. Horn sounds the same. Oh my whoa my god. Right, do not do that. Let's get some sand on. Right, hold the sander down. And maybe just maybe just a little bit of throttle to begin with. Just a little bit. In fact, we'll put the AFB up so it starts supplying a bit more power. And sometimes if you have the AFB fairly low, it'll sort of limit how much power. So, you really have to push it though, don't you? I've got the sand still on. There we go, that's better, that's better. 0.2, 0.3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and off we go. That's a green over yellow. We've got a 60 on there, actually. I'll set that back to... No, don't do that. That's not a good idea. We've just lost all that momentum now because of that. No, train. No, come on. Stay with me. Stay with us. Stay with us. There we go. So, yeah, sometimes do put the um, AFP slightly higher. Because if you do put it on 40, it will go up much slower. Which obviously isn't really always a good thing. There we go, quickly unrestrict ourselves. Right, sand's coming off. Yes, yeah, so we've got a few one sort of, uh, yeah, it's a container train with a few uh, skeletal ones as well. As so we make our way out of Würzburg, and that is quite noisy. Hopefully you can hear me all right. <laughs> as uh, we take it for a run up the line. You like it? See fair? Yeah, see fair. Now I set that to full whack now. A little bit of wheel slit, just a little bit. Maybe bring it down a little bit. No, I think we're alright. Yeah, that looks alright. Actually, maybe not. And we've got quite a steep gradient coming out of here as well, so we do need to really get going. Get the sand back down. I don't like it. Come on, go! Speed up! 
You don't have to slow it there, you get 30. That ain't worth something though, is it? That looks alright. Yeah, it's saying it's not now. No, it is saying it is worth something. Oh, we got AFB on now. No, LZB. So that can control the train. We just have to sit here and hope we can make it up the hill. As if there is quite a steep bit coming up, so um, we'll see. And yeah, obviously, big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us the key to show this off early. Uh, awesome. More well, early access. So we're going to Bergson, which yeah, isn't Fjorda or anywhere like that. It is, I think that's actually where the main Spess Out Barn bit goes off. Oh no, it's a bit further up. Yeah, so we're going to there. And I suppose then this would then go off onto this bit here. So just sort of above the main Spess Out Barn, bit where you fly over the route. So there's a nice variety in service time, some were like over an hour, some were 20 minutes, this one was half an hour, I think one was 45 minutes. So there's a nice amount of, you know, to do. And our new freight services as well. There you go. Oh, quite cool seeing the skeletal ones. Uh, and you can buy this train separately as well, so if you don't want the RHTT train or the Santa Fe train, the F7, uh, you can buy it separately, I believe, for £4.99. Although, which makes more sense, really, in my eyes, is to get it as one, £11.99. Um, which, yeah, makes it probably a bit, it works out a bit cheaper. Probably £3 cheaper. Yeah, 40 kilometres to go. I'm hoping we can get there in half an hour, so I've got to go out in half an hour. <laughs> Taking it slightly slow, because usually, you know, in the ice you just speed past it. You never really take in the scenery, but as we're going a bit slower, we sort of have that opportunity. Sort of just enjoy the scenery. Oh, and hang on a second. We are bloody getting the different one on there. Oh, that's so much nicer. And over that one as well. There. So, can we contact the signaller? Oh, we can't using that. Uh, I'll wait until it's just we come out of the tunnel. So, probably the phone somewhere. Although, it looks like using the button here, we can't contact the signaller. Well, there probably is the phone somewhere, so... Yeah, there we go. Phone's down there. Yeah, just there. So you can contact the signaller using that. That's 120 kilometres an hour. Got 38 kilometres. 120 kilometres an hour, what, is about 70 miles an hour? So, about usual for freight. Yeah, not bad. And yeah, what's included in the pack again? Well, if you get the Loco add-on pack, so all three of them for I think £11.99, you get the Railhead Treatment Train for South Eastern High Speed, uh, you get the F7 in a warp on its Santa Fe Red livery, which is a very nice looking locomotive and, uh, locomotive and livery, and also the Dustbullock 182, which is this one. You get this as well. What's everyone's favourite? And what's your favourite livery on the 182? Do you like it in Deutsche Bahn Red, MRCE or Dispolic? Personally, I think in MRCE Black it looks the best. It just looks the freshest. Put the white and black together. This one looks quite... It almost reminds me of the Railpool livery, because I think on the Railpool one you've got the, it's very basic, just the blue stripe going down the side of it. It sort of reminds me of that a little bit. But I still think the MRC livery does look better, because it just looks fresher. Cool. 
35 kilometers to go. We'll get there. We'll get there. Slow and steady. Well, not really slow, I and mean, we're going fair. Well, this is the fastest freight you can go in Germany, 120. Or can it go any faster anywhere else? Does anyone know? So I probably said it is 120 top. Or in any sort of special circumstances, can freight go more in Germany? And yeah, we are on the PC version today as well. Hey, there's a nice free there. Is it a double? No, it's just a single. But yeah, that's feel weird going slow on this route. Well, slower than what you would do in the Ice 3 or the Ice 1. You're taking a more gentle pace, you can take in the scenery a bit more. And we're not really, and we're not going slow, slow. That's because we're not going fast, fast. Let's head up to Bergson. Bergson Banoff, yeah, Bergson something Banoff, track 403. Yeah, along we go. See that? Vigilance pedal. So yeah, we slowly make our way there. Thirty two kilometers. Cool. But yeah, so it takes us forty minutes to go from Versberg there. Bergson. Imagine doing a full run all the way up. I mean, that would be. God, that was... I mean, that's 40. That would then be 80. I mean, it's going to take probably near enough two hours to do a full run in a freight train all the way up to the top of the route. Has anyone been brave and done that? Personally, I haven't. I don't know if I would do that. <laughs> I think I'll stick to the ice free when it comes to those big long journeys. I suppose it's a good driving experience though. Right, I'm going to try and don't turn down the brightness on these because they look really, really bright. If we can, I don't think we can anymore. Yeah, I don't think so. Let's get a nice bar by shot. Get some good shots on this one. We've got dynamic weather on as well. Brilliant. Yeah, this is one of the three things you get in the pack. A third of it. That's really cool, actually, with the, um, well, the, some of them being skeletal, and then some of them having the containers on. I like that. So we've done 11 kilometres already. So we're making fine progress. You've got the little uh, fire escape cap flap there, the little hatch there on the side. So yeah, the cab door for this you have to go into the hallway and then you can go out. There's no sort of side door like most of the um, German trains. Cool. I mean, we've done a couple of freight services on here. Yeah, because for one of the first look videos we did a freight one, didn't we, down from Fjorda to Versberg, but didn't actually ever make it to Versberg. Or at least into the yard. Let's get another flyby shot. So it's more it's about the locomotive. So let's get another flyby shot. Oh, you've got to be joking. No, 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 no. No, we're all good. Oh, no, we're not. Or are we? No, we're, I think we are alright. 
See, it always happens when I get a flyby shot. It's ridiculous. Oh yeah, it's all good, it's all good. Although we have got to try and put, get that back before we... Um... There you go, we're all good. It's always when I'm getting a flyby shot as well. On train simulator and on train... I suppose it's slightly quieter on the, on the sea for on here. Unbelievable. Right, back up you go, yes, I know you will slip in, but I'm sure you can still get going. There we go, get that bloody speed back. We're all having a good time there. Let's go up slowly. Slow and steady. See that? Driven 18.2 kilometres. That's our reward. Nice. Well, that's slowly going back up, so that's good. Well, it's quite a steep grade. It's a 1 in 80. Which for a freight train, that's supposed to be on the heaviest of freight trains. That still is fairly. So there you go, it's flattening out a little bit now. Probably actually end up going downhill now. It does look like it a little bit. Yeah, Seafair, yeah, blah, blah, blah. So at some point we will see, unless we've already gone past it, and that's coming up soonish. You've got the um, other tracks going off towards Lorbanoff. That'll be fairly soon. We'll be seeing that go off. But yeah, this part of the route, believe it or not, is actually slightly flatter than the northern part of the road. Between, between Fjorda and Castle, there are so many more bridges, massive valleys, you're flying across. But this bit's sli slightly flatter. And you're slightly not more nearer the ground, not constantly in a tunnel or on a massive bridge. Still a lot of that though. There's never ice free. Wisdom Pass. I almost looked like it was going a little bit slow though. Maybe it was, maybe it's following something. Yeah, it's a very easy route to drive. Because if you're doing a path, or even a freight train, it just does the speed for you. So all you need to do is do CIFA. I think it actually will slow us down as well in this one, I believe. I hope it does. The wind turbines up there. And yeah, at the end we'll look at scenarios and journey modes. That's your bam. Yeah, long we go though. Nice. Near enough 20 kilometres now, so then we're halfway between Versberg and Bergson, and only a quarter of the way to Fjorda. And also it's the second half of this service, so this is part one. Um, but I think the other part goes to... I think, no, I think that might actually go up to Fjorder, the second bit. Or does it? Was that seven minutes? I think it might have actually been seven minutes long. One minute. Well, maybe you stop there for a, fr uh, for a fast train to go past. That's quite a lot of the freight services you get of this train are at night time. Um, that's why it's freight. So, it doesn't usually run in the day. That's when you've got the passenger trains. So we might actually be holding up an ice behind us. Or we might. Maybe not on this occasion, but there probably isn't an ice too far behind. Which we'll be holding up. Yes, yeah, Sifa. There you go, back to uh, a good speed. That sounds new. Sounds a little bit new. Yes, yeah, so that's the bit off to Lorban off there. That goes off that way. Uh, and that would be that's on the main Spessart Barn route, which if you like if you enjoy your German freight routes or just German routes in general, main Spessart Barn, it is a crucial route 
because if you've got that route near enough on every other German route there'll be a layer or some sort of substitute from Main Spessart Barn so yes I very much recommend it even if you don't play the route just so you get all those other trains on the other routes which is worth it especially on the older German routes Main Spessart Barn can then add a lot Kilometers. Cool. As we make our way, see that. What do the B means? Because I think BF means ban off. So what does B mean? Probably like siding or something. Don't know. Someone will know. But yeah, this is the second one I'm looking at. So the next one is the Santa Fe F7. Which in all honesty is probably actually the one I was most looking forward to out of the whole pack. Because the F7, especially in Santa Fe, oh, it looks very good. Very, very iconic. Yeah, that's probably the one I'm actually most sort of looking forward to playing or trying out first on video. Into another tunnel. Surprise, surprise. 13 kilometres to go. See first. So I think we're doing about 2 kilometres a minute or near enough. When do we start this service? 32. Okay, so it's been 22 minutes. Doesn't take too long, though. I think this one was about half an hour, this service. I suppose we don't need to do like a big first look as well. It's just really the loco. We'll check out on this one, more sort of delivery. And obviously the service is... There's not too much to sort of look at on this one. But yeah, I just can't wait to get onto the Santa Fe F7. Very much looking. I think out of all of the trains, I think for me, yeah, the Santa Fe ones will be the one I was most looking forward to. Then the 66 and then the 182. Because that Santa Fe livery is fire. Lots of fire emojis next to it. But yeah, what does everyone think? What have you thought about the this Spollock 182 but then I wonder will this loco backdate to the MRC one and the Deutsche Bahn one and then they get the new features as well don't know see if I Nine point eight kilometers going down pretty quick actually. Nine point six. Nine point five. Nine point four. Yeah, there we go. Cool. See if that. And yeah, it would be 280 for a fast train, although I've never actually done a fast train on this route, which goes up to 280. It's always been 250. Does anyone know if there is a service which goes to 280? This is nice going along here. Down here. 
Oh no, that's um, that's Langa Prasels in there, and that's Gamundan. Yeah, that's Gamundan our main over there. So that is um, main special barn. Is another route in the Trenton World franchise. Yeah, there's like so much DLC now for Trenton World. I think there's like 60 odd DLC. It's crazy to think how far it's come from just the standard, you know, free you got back in 2018. 60 odd DLC. Cool. See that? We got 5.9 kilometres, so I'm hoping it will bring it down for us. Although I'm not too sure, but maybe LZB will end. LZB, yeah, that's buzzed. Some, yeah, I can see that coming down. I think on there now. So I think it is slowing us down. It does seem like it. Well, let's hope it does. Or will LZB end? That's also a possibility. Well, we'll see. See that? Unused. Click buttons. That goes off. Probably shouldn't be pressing all these buttons. Something bad will happen, but it's all right. Five. Let's press for five. Can't even reach five on there. I can reach four there. Donkler. Oh, that must be, yeah, that's bright settings, eh? Not brightness settings, yeah, see for. Oh, we've got the G on there, so I think it will be slowing us down. Yeah, 100 kilometres an hour, that's the next limit in. one kilometre. But if it does actually completely bring us down, there's a mystery. So I will sort of be ready, just in case. Yeah, it says 100 on that. So I guess it probably doesn't. Yeah, we're going to be coming across here now. There we are. So you've, I think you actually do have to bring it down yourself. Should be alright. Uh, get that off. Well, that is coming down quick. That's a bit too quick. You don't need to come down that fast. Release the brakes, release the brakes. I'm going to see if it actually does start sort of taking control of itself. Now I've got those bloody blocks on again. I don't play on the PC version much, but it's probably because we did the... Um, one a tutorial at some point. So it's it's um, saved it and kept the blocks on. Remember the first time I saw those coloured blocks, I was like, no. Well, so they were good, obviously. If you're, uh, I suppose they're they're good, but yeah, for me, I was like, no, get them off. Eh, ski skarlato. What's that mean? Probably means like stupid. Stupid. Here we are. That was a journey in the Despolok 182. What did everyone think? Uh, will you be getting the 182 separately, or will you be getting it as the uh, well, with the pack? What are you going to go for? I'd probably say this one's probably most worth it within a pack. 
Well, I don't know. So it's up to you, really. Come on, train. Oh, no, it's actually slowing us down. So you know what? I'll let it slow us down. Or is it? No, it is bringing us. Yeah, that's that's stopping me from accelerating. That's actually just slowing us down. But we're not going to be on the objective, though, are we? Yeah, we're not on the objective. So we're going to have to turn LZB off for that. Because it won't let us go closer. Yeah, we're going to have to get that off. I'll be careful as well because we are on a bit of a grade as well. It's not liking any of it, is it? That down. Right, I'm gonna have to get I'm gonna have to get LZB off. Actually it doesn't like the yeah, bloody yeah. stand up. It doesn't allow us to go much further forward. So, we're going to have to do it like that. That should move us forward, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Train. Go. You don't need to sit around. There we go. Probably gonna get, we're going to get wheel slip from that. That's for sure. But we're breaking the train. <laughs> and there's the wheel slip. Oh, come on. Right at the end as well. That's a little bit on Because, yeah, LZB brings you down here. But then the objective wants you there. So, really, that's not our fault. That's just something with the game. Right, just a little bit, go on. I just want to go forward 42 metres. That's not a big ask, alright? I'm oh, still not moving. My god, go! There we go. Yes. Metre by metre. Go, go, go. I mean... Oh my god, come on. Oh, I know you're going to get wheel slip. This it starts to pee me off now. So we got right to the end. And it stops us there. And now... Oh, for God's sake. Right, come on. So let's get a bit ang frustrated and angry with the game. Get us going. 40 metres. Uh, let's hit that objective marker slightly further back because the LZB stops you before it. Probably end up going through the red now. <laughs> Happy? I still won't be happy, would it? But there we go, good. Right, well that is going to be everyone. Now I almost jumped the gun there again. I, I almost ended without actually showing you what you get with the DLC. So for the Dispolock 182, uh, for scenario wise, uh, you get, let's have a look. Uh, you get Tunnel Vision, Gaining Mass, Nightcrawler. So you get three scenarios with it. And for... Um, Let's have a look. Timetable. You'll be getting. Actually, I could have had a look at it there. 58 services. So that's probably actually the same amount you get with the other ones. Yeah, no, you get four, I suppose, yeah. A few more services to it. But I think that substitutes in for most of the freight services on there. But you can see all of them on there. So pretty much all throughout the night. 
which ain't too bad. And then full journey mode, uh, which is rail journeys, uh, the castle Versberg. You get king of the, I oh know, I think 182, I think that is. Yeah, so you get three different ones. Freight school, special delivery, and all the whole things. And that is what you get for the 182. But hopefully everyone has enjoyed the video. Obviously, big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us a key to show it off. Links can be found in the description to the Discord, to the PayPal, and to the merch store if you do want to help support the channel. Above that, thanks all for coming in, and I hope to see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.